Uh, Mitch starting to wind it on up on that left hand side of the track. Flashes onto the line now, Paul Smith on the chair getting right down as he goes into that uh, pits corner. Now halfway down the back straight he goes, winding on the power. It's been a huge success since he took over on the 500 sidecar. Paul Smith has been his passenger all the time. They look very neat and tidy coming out of that uh, top corner. So winding it on now, yeah. Twenty point six one there for Mitch Gordon and Paul Smith. Twenty point six one. Former European champion, reigning British champion, Josh Goodwin and Liam Brown are the next crew to come out. We're they have been asked to come into the pit box ready. They have the second crew to go out for this barn record attempt. 20.61 the time there for Mitch Gordon and Paul Smith. Here at the top of this Super Series going into this final round here at Chelmsford this afternoon. They go up to that uh, start and we'll, exactly the same procedure. They'll wind it on down the back straight, come out of that top corner and we'll do their flying lap for their barn record attempt. 20.61 the time to catch at the moment. Them right over on that far side of the track. Get the clear all clear from the clerk of the course and down the back straight they go. They look very quick uh, in practice. I did Simon Beard, who was another crew to come out for this. So it's going to be interesting to see what sort of time they clock. They look very, very quick indeed as they come off that top corner. Liam Brown gets up and then we'll tuck down immediately. Come the the again they go and in that uh, pitch corner. Looking very, very quick and very aggressive as they go up that back straight again. Liam Brown gets get tucks it down to get maximum uh, wind resistance down that long back straight. Big track here at 500 Sidecar Association this afternoon. Out of that top corner they come then. Heading for the uh, second line. Back the line now. Quick, but it wasn't quite so quick as Mitch Gordon. 20.76. 20.76 is the time there for Josh Goodwin and Liam Brown. Simon Beard and Anthony Goodwin, the next crew to uh, come out. They've missed one or two uh, of the uh, rounds, but they could be big spoilers here today. They look very, very quick in practice indeed. They come out of that top foot, only using half of the straight to get it wide on there. Under the gate they go now, up into that pitch corner they go, keeping a nice tight line. Down the back straight they go, Anthony Goodman again gets down to stop the resistance going up that back straight, trying to get as much speed as possible over the chair he gets as they hurtle into that uh, top, top corner, winding on coming out of that bend, heading to the middle of the track, and they go now. Twenty-one sixty-three. Twenty-one sixty-three was the time there for Simon Beard and Anthony Goodwin. The last crew to go out are Dan Berwick and Mark Hopkins. That's the last crew for the five hundreds. Coming out of that top corner, then the last five hundred side car to take this attempt. Then Dan Berwick and Mark Hopkins. That corner again there, hugging the line to try and save distance round the track. And look at Dan Barry getting right, right down there, almost off the side cars. He goes up that back straight to get minimum wind resistance to try and get the extra half a second under his valve. He comes out of that to final corner again. They get right down to come across the Twenty-one eighteen. Twenty-one eighteen. The time there for uh, Dan Berwick and Mark Hopkins. This is.
Two lap practice for Dan Bale at, at the very old uh, lads because they had problems in the practice. They got a compulsory two lap practice. This is not a fifth rider for the bar record. They had machine problems, so it is uh, compulsory two laps for them, practice for them. three solos, three very, very quick solos are going to go out for the barn record. Eddie Kenny, of course, second in the Masters and has been really flying on the grass this year. He winds it on that, on that top corner. Under the game, he's leaning right forward, throws it into that pitch corner. Gets down again to go up that back straight. Looks very aggressive indeed there, Eddie Kenny. Almost long tracking up that long back straight there. Throws it into that bend again. Maximum speed and drive coming out of the corner. He's the pace out of ball. It's a bit of a wind there. They're going to a few seconds. Eighteen forty-eight there for Eddie Kennett. Eighteen forty-eight. He is the pace setter for three very, very quick solos for this barn record attempt. Next one is reigning European and Masters champion James Shane. He too looked very, very quick in the practice session. There he goes, just quietly going up that back straight. The young man has took grass trap by storm over the last 18 months. Taking his time going into that corner. Now he starts to wind it up on the exit from the corner. Mid track position, he starts his flying lap now. That top corner once again gets right down the back wheel, right stepping out there up the back straight he goes. He was very quick on that uh, pitch corner up the back straight he goes. Is he as quick as Eddie? He looks very, very quick now as he goes into that uh, final corner. Front wheel airborne coming out of the corner. Wind will cost him a few seconds. Eighteen point one three. 18.13 there for James Shane, so just a little bit quicker than Eddie Kennett. Of course, they both pop wheelies half they through the finishing line, which costs them all to split seconds, but he's just a little bit quicker. So Richard Hall making a rare appearance in this country. Great to have Richard with us this afternoon. He is number 16 in the program, not 116. He goes in to that top corner, Richard. He winds it on pretty early, coming out of the corner, he's after the wide line, he comes under the game, into that then he goes up this corner, takes a nice tight line, that could have saved him half a second, there he goes, off the back straight, flat head up the back straight, half a wheelie, half up that back straight, throws that back wheel down again, again looks very quick, the same sort of spectacular style as James Shane, he's very wide coming out of the corner. Nineteen point one five. Nineteen point one five there for Richard Hall. So with the time of eighteen point one three, uh, James Shanes wins the Roy Balban record for the uh, five hundred solos. We now have the three um, sidecar thousand sidecars to come out for their barn record attempt. Now look at the speed of him going down that back straight away before he even gets in. He throws it into that first corner. Magnificent speed there from the reigning Masters champion. He comes out of the corner. We'll clock him as he goes. Hurtles it into that top bend. Meets the car blind virtually over the front wheel there as he goes down that back straight. Gets back up again. The speed of Mark going down that back straight. He really is motoring. He throws it again into that uh, pitch corner. Tremendous driving and against aggression there for Mark Costa in car blind. And he flashes across the line there. Nineteen eighty three, nineteen eighty three, the time there for Mark Cosser and Carl Bly. Very, very quick indeed, almost as quick as Richard Hall's time there on the five hundred solo. So he shows he wasn't hanging about. The next one to come out should be Rob Wilson, Terry Saunders, former Masters champion and 
one of the top sidecars for the last 20 years in this country, Rob Wilson and Terry Saunders, next crew to come out. And then to that corner they go, a bit of speed and aggression coming there from Rob Wilson as he comes out of that corner. And they take a wide line as he starts his fire. On that duck and ready being wound on there as he goes up into that top corner again. He's nice and Terry Saunders right down the long side. It gets up very quickly to go down the back straight. It looks quick, but will it be as quick as Mark Cosser again? He throws it in to that top turn, drifts off the line slightly again, could cost him a few seconds. Rob really wide on the exit. This corner. Twenty-one fifty, twenty-one fifty. There for Rob Wilson, Terry Saunters, and the final crew to come out: Lee Jones and Robbie Sterling. Right, there goes Lee Jones and Robbie Sterling. There, up and down the back straight to two, and wind it up for their flying lap attempt. goes in, he comes Robbie Stirling, Robbie Stirling right down nice and tight, doesn't look so quick as he didn't seem to get into that corner as quick as what uh, Robbie Wilson or Mark Cosser did, down the back straight he goes, plenty of speed going down that back straight, can he keep a tight line to save half a second coming out of the corner again, he's locked it up slightly again, a slightly wider line, Billy Jones on the left side. Twenty-one fifty-six. Twenty-one fifty-six. The time there for uh, Lee Jones and Robbie Sterling. So it is Mark Cosser and Carl Bly with nineteen point eight three that take the barn record attempt for the thousand sidecars. Well, we move on then to race one of the final of the five hundred sidecar super series. We've got Simon Beard, Anthony Goodwin, Chris Neen, Josh Russell, Natasha Barkett, Louis Bennett. John Harvey, Danny Hogg, James Hogg, Scott Goodwin, and Aaron and Stephen Vale in race number one. Right, there are no ruts on the grid because they haven't been started from there, so they will do the ruts and pull away, then come back round the line for the uh, start to actually start the meeting. So, uh, John Harvey, Danny Hogg, the best place to start the crew in this one. They are currently in third place. They were the 2015 winners of this series, devised by Sean Harvey. I said hasn't rode a lot of the rounds, but he could be a spoiler here this afternoon very much, so the veils are usually pretty quick as well. Natasha Barton and James Hodgson stop the win. So race them what looks at it, Natasha Barton down on a brand new machine. For those of you who were here early, she practiced on two bikes. This is the new bike, and looks at the bike. This is the bike she's going to be using here this afternoon with Louis really Bennett in the chair. Good to see Louis back in action after you know, his horrific spill a few weeks ago. So that's good to see Louis back in action. So we've got Sean Harvey on grid number one. James on one from the uh, outside. We've got Natasha Barclay right on the outside. In the middle of the grid, Bell's going next to Sean Harvey, passing his off, getting the exact groove. Of course, the first race for the uh, five hundreds coming from this on track start this afternoon. Crucial race for Sean Harvey, needs to cut claw points back on the two crews above him. So the survival first heat straight away then. Harvey settles on the inside, Bell's going next to him. Then we've got Dean, then we've got to. Uh, Beard. Then we've got uh, Barfit right on the outside. James Hogg was waiting for the top. Maybe the good start for Simon Beard and Tom Williams got over and he gets a corner first. Sean Harvey gets a full corner first. Simon Beard trying to make a move around the outside. But it's Harvey who leads him up the back straight for the first time. And Beard in second. Bells have got the third. That's the top three. That's a Barfit back in fifth place. They go into that top corner for the first time then. It's Sean Harvey and Danny Hogg who leads coming up. 
Just been holding that second spot at the moment. Bells again having another tremendous go. They go up the back straight once again. Harvey has got away at the front then. Beard holds second. Bells have got the third. It's uh, Hogg in four. Barford's in five. Neem in six. That's the six again. Bells again trying to find a way past this Simon Beard. They saw Harvey getting away at the front then. Holds that second, Bells again getting very close to Beard, these three pulling away from Hogg in four, Barkman in five, Neem in six, as they go up the back straight once again, so it's still Harvey and Hogg will lead into that top corner once again from Beard and Goodwin holding the second, the Bells have got the third, these three crews pulling away, Sean Harvey really wide on the edge of the away from Simon Beard who again gets pressure from Bells going in top pitch corner. Final time then. It's Harvey who leads it, and Bell's almost alongside Beard coming off the back straight on lap number four. Could be an interesting last corner. The second and third places. Sean Harvey's got it totally sewn up at the front. Bell's having one last go coming out of that final corner. Sean Harvey's coming in on the race for the line. Gets second, Bell's a third, terrific race there for second and third. Bartlett is in four, Hogg is in five, Neem in six points. Brilliant race there, particularly for first and second places. By right, the points for that race then, for race number one, number four, Simon Beard, four points. Number 11, Chris Neem, no points. Number 65, Natasha Barclay, two points. Number 72, Sean Harvey, five points. Number 73, James Hogg, one point. And number 152, Aaron Vale, three points. Those are the points for race number one. Race number two should be a cracker. Mitch Gordon in second place. Josh Goodwin, the clear leader at the moment. Stylus Lund, Barry Bennett, Scott Dunn and Dan Berrick are the six crews in action. So you've got the first and second place crews in action. It'd be crucial for Mitch Gordon to get a good ride against Josh Goodwin and try and claw the gap back. He saw that Sean Harvey just won that opening leg to get his meeting off to maximum point start so it could be crucial to watch uh, Gordon and Goodwin. Goodwin's got a good lead, he can afford to drop a few points but knowing Josh he'll want to go out and win his races. So Gordon winds up in gate number one, Goodwin towards the middle of the grid. We've got, it looks like Barry Bennett uh, right on the outside with Steinus Lund going inside him. Barry's had a super series so far this year. Scott Dunn will be a spoiler again as he comes in then. Goodwin one week in the middle of the cup, running on the outside, run next to him. Drop this one from the inside, they line up then. Scott Dunn is left alive, Mitch Cotton gets a corner first. And it looks like that Dan Barrick trying to find a way through on the inside. Barrick has found a way through on the inside. Goodwin's in third place to get down the edge of Barrick to move from the second going off the back straight for the first time. And it's Gordon who leads from Goodwin in second. Barrick has got the third spot. That's the top three. They come to complete lap number one then. It's Gordon who leads them. Five, John is in six as they go up the back straight for the second time. Will Goodwin settle for a straight second place? Oh, He's having a go at Godden now, going into that top corner on lap number two, just a bite between first and second. Godden on the inside. Goodwin trying to go around the outside now, cuts it back to the inside. Goodwin holding second place, going into the top corner once again. Then it's still Godden with a bike advantage over Goodwin again. Goodwin looks very quick, coming up that back straight. He's half the gap, there's half a bite between them going into that top corner on lap number three. Gordon's got the inside run again. Goodwin goes wide to try and cut it back up the inside run, but Gordon has the inside. He's moving on to four this time. It's Gordon Legion, and Goodwin in second. Barry has got the third. Danny's in four. Gordon's in five. John in sixth place. Up the back straight. Four being followed by the gap is still the same between first and second. One last go for Josh Goodwin right round the outside of that top corner. He's coming right round the outside. Has he caught Gordon? No, Gordon goes wide to block it. Goodwin goes back to the inside. Goodwin gets the second, Derrick is in third, Benny is in four, Lund in five, John in sixth place, what a brilliant race that was, and then Josh Goodwin tried to come right round the outside of that final corner, Gordon obviously saw him coming, went wide to block him, so Gordon has pulled a point back there on Goodwin, and so as Sean Harvey pulled a couple of points back there on the series leader after two super opening rides. Right, the points for a superb race number two then.
Number one, Mitch Goggle, five points. Number three, Josh Goodwin, four points. Number six, Steinus Lund, one point. Number seven, Barry Bennett, two points. Number 15, Scott Dunn, no points. And number 68, Dan Barry, three points. Is it me, man? Right, on we go then to the, we'll get the results now as they cross the line then. This is race number three, the uh, 500 upright solo. Delete were Mike Scalding as a non starter then for this uh, race number three. So Nigel Coates, Tom Meekins, Tim Mann, Dave Mears, Dean Humphries, Barry Joyce and Robert Wynn are the ones in question then for this um, race three. Dave Mears obviously feels somebody's in his gating position so uh, they should be in grid four. In the afternoon today he's in these only 500 as well. So Dave Mears, the last one in the saddle, could well be favourite for this race, number three, first into the 500 upright. Again, we wait for Dave Mears to settle. Settling on the line then for race three, first into the 500 upright. Not particularly quick away, but he'll sweep round the outside. He goes through the second plate, gets round the race. Little re Tim uh, Mount comes again back up the inside of Mountley. It's um, not Mount, of course, it's at all in that leading that race. It's Coke to lead then. And it's Dave Mears on his shoulder. He's too locked the other coming out of that top corner for the first time then. It is Dave Mears who is the defense on me to hold that second plate then. Coach is in third, that's the top three, Dave Mears leads going up the back turn, lap number two, Meekins has got the second, Coach is in third place, that's the top three, as they start to spread out now, going into that top corner for the second time in the first heat of the uh, upright solo, coming through the complete lap number two then, Dave Mears are clearing, holding up second, one running, Coach has got the third, Tim Mount is in fourth place, that's the top four, they start to spread, it's top four then, 1.55 and Barry Joyce in sixth place, that's the six of them as Dave Mears clear. Going into that top corner once again then. For Meekins holding the second place. Coach has got the third. He's coming under pressure from Mount now. Race for third and fourth place. Dave Mears leads him on the last lap then. For Meekins holding that second place. Coach has got the third. Now Gatling and his coach has in his fourth place. And he's fourth a long way through the remainder of the back. Then it's Dave Mears halfway up the back straight. Time in race number three, first heat 500 solo up on action. Picking his way out of that top corner, Dave Mears is going to collect the winning ride in race number three. Tom Meekins gets the second place, and he's going to third and fourth. Nigel Coast comes in, he's going to hang on to that third place. Jim Mount is fourth. Humphreys is in five. Winning six, and Joyce in seventh place. Race 3 result, then a win for number 19, Dave Mears. Second number 10, Tom Meekins. And third number 7, Nigel Coates. 17, 45, 155 and 57. Race 4, delete to Louis Scalding and in number 11, Ollie Stanford. Should be some interesting action in front with Tim Bregg, Greg, Charlie Brooks and David Knowles. They all look very, very quick in practice. David Knowles and Charlie Brooks had two practice sessions together and they were extremely quick. So should be in for a cracking heat of 250 action in race number four. The fine room, but it's certainly got some quality. We haven't got the quantity, so it should be intriguing in race number four. First heat of the 250 solos. Charlie Brooks has completely missed the Charlie's in fourth place, but that could make it interesting. As Greg leads up the back straight the first time, but David Knowles has gone round the outside. Charlie Brooks has worked his way in the third with Ollie Stanford in fourth place. Look at Brooks winding on round the outside of that top corner. He's trying to come round the outside. Tim Greg just snaps that second place as Knowles. 
David Knowles in the same movement going up the back straight they go the two boys between first and second is Knowles Charlie Brooks again winding on right round the outside of that top corner comes alongside David Knowles David Knowles still holding the line but Brooks is coming to the Super action between these two and Knowles on the inside of Brooks coming right round the outside and Brooks as he came down as they move it on the corner. Brooks leads for Knowles in second, Greg is in third, he's now along with Stanford in four. We watch them up the back straight then 40 final time, Super 3 heat, two laps down this first into the 250. Authority in this particular race in the 250 class. This Charlie Brooks who gets to win in David Knowles picks up the second. Third place goes to Tim Bragg. Holly Sanford will come across the line in fourth place. What a great race between those top three in the first three laps. Later on is now coming across the line. Crystal White coming across the line in fifth place. Race number four result, a win for number 16, Charlie Brooks. Second number 64, David Knowles. And third number 10, Tim Gray. 11 and 69. Race five, first heat of the 500 solos, delete number 92. And Richard Hall will be number 16. What a great race it should be. We've got Richard Hall and Jane Chains, Andrew Whitaker has been there or thereabouts throughout this 2017 season. We should be getting off to a cracking start in the, of the 500 solos. Stephen Green is testing riding in the 500 solos. He's one on the uh, inside. Richard Hall right on the outside. Garner walks away. Shane got the lead into Shane gets the corner first can Richard Hall sweep right round the outside now Shane has got the speed going up the back straight for the first time Hall settles in the second looks like Stephen Green has gone through in the third place Whitaker is in four AC is in five and Rowley's in six up for six they stream past as a complete number one in Shane's and Hall holding the second Raymond got the third Whitaker is in four Rowley's up to five that's the top five going up the back straight once again it changes getting away from Richard Hall quite a gap between first and second already the reigning European and Masters champion stamping his authority on this first seat of the 500 solo then James cleared up and Hall holding second Green is up to four Rowling is up to five that's still the top five then Hall is coming up the back straight and Shane's increasingly with every turn of the wheel he's half the length of the straight look at the speed of Shane's coming out of that top corner really rubbing at the front there Leads him on the ball, clearly over the hall, he's getting chased hard by Stephen Green, who's got the third and Whitaker just a bit close to the ball. This is the main action, the third and four between Stephen Green and Andrew Whitaker. Whitaker, Andrew 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 Whitaker, Good scrap of the match for 5th and 6th between Roll Selby and Thomas Rowling. Selby in 5, Rowling in 6 plates. Race 5 result, then a win for number 93, James Shanes. Second number 16, Richard Hall. And third number 66, Stephen Green. 71, 47 and 114. And we go then to race six, Guy Pacey will be one, one, six. Thank you. 
gets the corner first, Calmeas gets the speed round the outside now, again it's too quick on the inside line, it's clear going up that back straight from Mears, holding second place, the front pace has gone through into third place, the Eddie Kennett won't clear from Dave Mears in second, he's already pulling away from the other three more, he's Broughton is in four, that's the top four, as you see Eddie Kennedy in that top corner once again increasingly in all the time that over Dave Mears gave him for a busy afternoon with the up five the as he completes a lap number two then for Mears, holding that second place, Pacey still hangs on to third. Final corner, comprehensive winning race number the six there for Eddie Kennedy. He gets the winning ride, Dave Mears. Comes across the line second. Looks like we've got a change of position there for third and fourth for Daniel Brought. May well have gone through into third place. Yes, he has. Guy Pace is relegated to fourth. And Tyrone Domain in fifth place. Race 6 result, a win for number 6, Eddie Kenny. Second number 19, Dave Mears. And third number 15, Daniel Broughton. 116 and number 4. Race 7, for those of you who weren't here early, it'll be Lee Jones, Rob Wilson, John Stafford, adding number 37, Mark Cosser and Carl Bly. To lead 29, 16 and 158, unfortunately. So the four crews coming into line then for the first heat of big chair action. Lee Jones on the inside, then Rob Wilson, then Mark Cossett, John Stafford right on the outside, and Lee Jones has made a good start already. It's Mark Cossett is making the way. The first time Jones has got the second, Wilson in third, John Stafford is in fourth place, down the back straight they go for the first time, the Masters crew pulling away already, Lee Jones holding on to that second place, Rob Wilson desperately trying to close the gap on the second place, crews they go in that third pitch corner for the first time then, it's cost relief then for Jones and the run on the Dropping back in fourth place now, Rob Wilson making the out of Lee Jones, trying to wind it on right round the outside of Lee Jones, but Lee Jones will hold him back in second place a moment. Meanwhile, Cosser's getting away the front, but Jones still stubbornly hanging on to that second place pitch. Again, Rob Wilson trying to get caught on the inside this time, does get caught on the inside of Jones. And the to Wilson, who Wilson's made it stick to second place. This Cosser the leader. From Wilson holding second, Jones has got the third. Stafford is in fourth place. We look at Mark Costner and Carl Bly coming out of that pitch because they're well clear on the last lap. Bob Wilson, Terry Saunders in second. Lee Jones, Robbie Sterling on the third. Fourth place. Halfway down the back straight, full deep on the time mark. Costner and Bly totally untroubled in this the first thing. Chair action. Coming out of that pitch corner, full deep on the time. Impressive stuff. Mark Costner and Carl Bly. Well, Wilson, Terry Saunders are going to hang on to second place. The Jones, Robbie Sterling in third, and John Stafford in fourth place. So, race number seven result. First seat of the big chairs. A win for number 37, Mark Cosser in Carl Bly. Second number 24, Rob Wilson, Terry Saunders. And third number three, Lee Jones and Robbie Sterling. So 
So Sean Arm is going to do it right from the outside this time if he wants another vital victory in race number eight. He's the last to settle into line. Everybody seems ready, start and walks away. Away we go, Sean Arm is making a good start from the outside. Can he get across? Or will be able to get there first? No, Sean Arm is going across against Cockton for the second time this afternoon. He's left on the line then. As it is, Sean Harvey leads going up the back straight for the first time. Simon Beard comes from the second. The Bells have made a dreadful start. They're back in fifth place. Moments, Tarnas Lund making a move around the edge of the Barry Manning's trying to go through. In the third place is Sean Harvey. <laughs> They've got right back to sixth place after having a super third place in their opening ride then. It's Harvey who leads, being chased by Beard in second. Bennett's got the third. Beastly pulling away from London, who's got four. It's done in five and Bell's in sixth place. London's got the four, done in five, Bell's in six. Off the back straight they go, equal distance between the top three, going into that top corner for the third time again. Beard close the gap slightly on the entry of the corner, but again Sean Harvey pulls away coming off that corner. Down the back straight they go for the final time. Another impressive ride coming up for Sean Harvey and Danny Hogg. That means they're going to claw a few more points back on the first and second place riders. It's Harvey Leeds coming out of that last corner. Harvey Hogg, everyone in line. Simon Beard picks up the second. Sorry, Danny has a good ride in third. Scarlett London is in fourth. They are coming in to get five. Scott Scott Dern in sixth place. Right, the points for race eight. Number four, Simon Beard, four points. Number six, Steinus Lund, two points. Number seven, Barry Bennett, three points. Number 15, Scott Dunn, one point. Number 72, Sean Harvey, five points. And number 152, the Vales, no points. They are put back one place for passing uh, Scott Dunn on the inside of the track. So they go back one place in race number eight. Race nine then, Mitch Gordon and Josh Goodwin again in the action. So uh, this could be very interesting indeed. Gordon got the better of Goodwin in the uh, first set of each. He's got him again this time along with Chris Neen, Natasha Barkley, Dan Berry and James Hogg. So this could be interesting again particularly with Sean Harvey winning his second heat. That puts pressure on the two crews above him. So everything to go for again in race number nine. Now they're starting the seven up, we've got James Hart on gate number one, the touch of Bartlett goes in alongside him, then down very but just to win, going in somewhere, he's going into grid number two I think, that, and Goggles on grid number five, so again Gordon the only spell, Gordon to get to that corner first, and if Goodwin gets a clear run, he could be the leader in this race number nine, the second heat, the fourth heat of the five on the car. super serious conclusion here at Chelmsford this afternoon then, just winning with James Hogg, the seven who ain't to come into line on the inside. Goodwin is on two, Barkley on three, Barry on four, Gordon on five, Neem on grid number six. That's a line up for race number nine. Again, we wait for James Hogg and his passenger to settle on that inside grid for what should be a crucial race number nine on the programme this afternoon. Somebody being called right up to the tapes. Starley now seems happy. He walks away, starts up. Who's going to get the corner first? It's Gordon who gets the corner first. Goodwin has got to do the chase again this time. And it's Gordon leads in. Then Goodwin in second. Berwick has now gone through in the third. Hogg is in fourth place. Natasha Barkin in five with that top corner for the first time. It's Gordon and Smith who lead in. from Goodwin and Brown who've got that second place. And Gordon, it's still Gambo who's got the 
second half is in, is in fourth place. Barnford in five. Neem in six going up the back straight. Once again, the gap slows slide, close slightly between first and second again. That's where Goodwin's very close on the entry to that top corner then. But still, Cotton's got the advantage. They come to complete lap number two. Goodwin again trying for the inside. Both the gap starting. And then Again, Gordon holds the line again. Good windows wide. He gets the drive coming off the corner. He's definitely getting close. He's half a bite down there, going up the back straight. On lap number three, winds it on right round the outside of that top corner. Will he cut it back for the inside run? Yes, he's trying to cut back inside Gordon. But Gordon's got the speed back on the outside. Good wind holding that second place. Derek is up the third. Good wind on the outside of that top bit's corner. Half a bite between them up the back straight. 40 from the time. Gordon has the advantage. Good wind is in second. Derek is in third. And Goodwin, Goodwin's got a lot to do on that final corner. Looks at Mitch Gordon going to bid him for the second time this afternoon. He's really wide over the corner. But Natasha Barker, two points. Number 68, Dan Barrick, three points. And number 73, James Hogg, one point. On we go then to race number 10, second leg of the final delete of all. 143 for this race. Damien is one to the inside, the winner of the opening leg of this car. Tom Dickens is chasing him out. With Nigel Coates hanging on to third place, he's still really stepping the line then. That's why the second to the uh, start marker there. Robert Wynn before coming into the outside grid for his race number 10. Second he's up by solos. On meeting tomorrow on the outside, gave me a spin for the inside of the arm of them for this second leg. got away, so is Tim Mack and, and Nigel Coates at the top four. Dave Mears leads into that pitch corner for the first time. Tom Meek is making the move around the outside. A bond between these two going up the back straight for the first time. Mears leads and for Meek in second. Looks like Mount in third with Coates in fourth place. Bobby Joyce in position number five. That's the top line. Completely in lap number one. Joyce is in six, Humphrey's in seventh place. Up to seven as they go up the back straight on lap number two again. Dave Mears start to pull away at the front. Tom Meakin consolidating that second place. Vision Tim Mount in third. Coach definitely getting close in fourth place. This is where the main action is for thirty four. Mount just said holding back in that fourth spot as they go up the back straight once again. It's may as well clear the front end from uh, Meekins holding second again. Coach having to go at Mount for that third spot. Lock that flag up there. Looking to make it good in the up line. Meekins holds that second. Seven four man so wide again a chance for coach to get to on the inside this time. Coach just goes to on the inside can man get back around the outside of that pitch corner. No he can't. Nigel Coach is gonna make it stick for third place. So Dave Mears comes out of that top corner for the final time. So this two and he's still fine. Tom Meekin picks up his second second place. So if Nigel Coach is gonna get that third six man win is in five. The result then of race 10 to win for number 19, Dave Mears. Second number 10, Tom Meekins. And third number 7, Nigel Coates. 17, 155, 45 and 57. Race 11, delete 143, adding number 11, Ollie Stanford.
Bring a line down for what be intriguing. Second leg of the 250, Charlie Brooks on the outside with Tim Greg and Sam and Jason Johnson in the in for the three mates. Second leg of the 350, Charlie Brooks has got away. Tim Greg's going to get the corner for Charlie Brooks. Winds it on around the outside of that pitch corner. Comes around the outside to Tim Greg to lead going up the back straight. Brooks has gone wide again and Greg has gone through on the inside. David Norris holding a watch and breathe in third place. Trying to get between these two. There's Charlie Brooks again really wide on the outside of that top corner. It's Brooks who leads and Knowles comes alongside Greg is on the outside of Tim Greg and moves through into second place. Can, can Tim Greg get back to on the inside of that pitch corner? No. David Knowles making his stick for second place. It's Charlie Brooks is well clear the front end. Second, Greg has got the third, and Greg has the fourth place, white team five, that's the point. They start to spread now in the second heat of the 250 solo. Tim Greg closes that spot, David Knowles going up that back straight on lap number three, but once again, Charlie Brooks seems to have it totally sewn up at the front. He leads him on to lap four then. Noel's holding second, Greg has got the third, Stanford is in fourth, white team five, pretty well spread out all round this throw, but he's Charlie Brooks halfway up the back straight for the final time, looking to make it two to two in the heat of the 250. Noel calls up the spread again, closing up on Noel's on the entry to the final corner. He's out again. Charlie Brooks gets the winning line. Noel gets the second. Red is in third. Stanford for White in fifth place. Race 10 resolved, a win for number 16, Charlie Brooks, who gets the first and final warning for going outside the markers on two occasions. Second number 64, David Knowles, and third number 10, Tim Gray. 11 and 69, race 12, delete number 92. So can Eddie Kenny get to James Shanes? We had Richard Hall first time out, he couldn't get to the Masters Champion. Can Eddie Kenny chase him on any harder this time? Andrew Whitaker in the X-12 on to James Shanes. One on the inside, Eddie Kenny toward one from the outside. They are then for race number 12 for the heat of the 500 solos. Shane, who's going to get the corner first? Shane just gets the corner first. Kenny trying to come round the outside. They're locked together up the back straight the first time. Shane's on the inside. Kenny's on his shoulder now. Going into that top corner for the first time. Look at the action between first and second. Shane's is gone wide. Kenny cuts it back for the inside run. But Shane's just not doing too much speed for Kenny at the moment. Kenny again has to go on the inside of that pitch corner. And Shane's leading. Kenny's holding that second place position up the back straight. They go once again. Then a mile clear. Amanda Whittaker hands on the third. What can Kenny try this time? On that top corner, the speed of Shane is just simply too much for Eddie Kenny, who gave it absolutely everything on that first half. Shane Lee has been Kenny in second, Whitaker has got the third, Casey is in four. We look at the action the front, the gap is still the same between first and second, but despite the best efforts of Eddie Kenny, and he really given everything on that first half, he cannot get to Shane, and Shane is pulling away the front now as they move it on to four this time then. Shane's up behind, he's got 20 yards on it, advantage over Kenny, as they go in the pitch corner, 40 from the line, and Whitaker has got the third, they can well lap some of the back markers going into that top corner on lap number four, that's the speed of the first two, as Shane leads into that top corner, 40 four time, that's two to two, leading to the two for the line, and the only two, Shane wins it, Kenny gets the second, Andrew Whitaker is going to pick up the third, Got Guy Pacey and Broughton stopping it out for fourth and fifth. Virtually a lap behind. Lots of Broughton's now gone through into fourth place, relegating Pacey to five. Pacey again comes back round the outside of that final corner. He's gone much too wide in that top corner. So Broughton gets four, Pacey in fifth place. So high speed action there in race number 12, won by number 93, James Shane. Second number 6, Eddie Kennett. And third number 71, Andrew Whitaker. 15 and 116. Race 13, delete number 18, and Richard Hall will be number 16.
So, coming down right then for race 13. Could have Richard all the favourite for this. So we had uh, Stephen Green had a good ride in his first ride. So he's uh, yeah, he is here. So he went along with Richard Moore in the race number 14. He's alright. Alright, come in. He's coming down right for his race 13. And Hall gets the corner first, Mears on the inside, Stephen Green on the upright, now moves through in the second place by getting around the edge of Dave Mears, and Thomas Rowlett's having to go in fourth place, but Hall's already got a lead, as he goes in the top pitch corner on lap number one then, Green holds that second, Mears has got the third, Rowlett is in fourth place, and Hall is in second, Mears is on the third, Rowlett is in fourth, 47's in five, Colin Jermaine is in fifth place, up to five as they go, up to back straight, once again, Richard Hall increases, leads, he goes into that top corner of lap number two and Green's Dave Mears trying to close the gap on Stephen Green that race for second and third place all up behind him he's got a command Green now he's got a heat of the 500 solo for the lead and Green is second Mears in third Rowling is in fourth 47 definitely getting close he'll be getting, getting closer in fifth place as we watch Richard Hall coming off that top corner for the third time on the lap four he goes there with a commanding lead over the wide riding Stephen Green just hanging on the second and Mears could get to on the inside of that pit for the green just for all the day and fight with green second and third as they go off the back straight on lap number four Richard Hall was posting in the front green holds that second day Mears will have one last go on that top corner goes wide tries to get back inside Stephen Green but Stephen Green doesn't leave the gap inside Stephen Green picks up third well Kirby gets fourth Thomas Rowley in fifth place Race 13 result and a win for number 16, Richard Hall. Second number 66, Stephen Green. And third number 19, Dave Mears. 47 and 114. Race 14, delete 16, 29, 158. And in 81, John Stafford and Dal Page. So coming down then for the second heat of the uh, big chairs. Only got three at the moment. John Stafford might didn't sound too clever in the first heat. Looks like he's not coming out then for this second leg. So it's just uh, Lee Jones, Mark Cosser, and Rob Wilson then for leg two of the big chairs. on the inside, Lee Jones next to him, Mark Cossa on the outside for leg two, race 14 of 1,000 cc sidecars, Otto moves away, where they go then, Rob Wilson made a much better start this time, he just went away with Mark Cossa, into that top corner, Cossa leads then, Wilson second, Jones has got the third, can Rob Wilson get anywhere near Mark Cossa, but look at the speed of Cossa again going down that back straight, Rob Wilson trying desperately hard in second, but he can't close the gap at all as they go into Pitt's corner on, oh, at number one, the Masters champion next to Dominic Cossa, both there, Wilson trying Close the gap in second, Lee Jones has got the third, they start to spread now, halfway up that back straight on lap number two, and you can see why he's the Masters champion, he's really dominated the thousand sidecars in this 2017 season, he's clear can put it on up the back straight on lap number three they go don't bother look back just keep motoring on it's half the length but the straight now between first and second despite the best efforts of Rob Wilson and Terry Saunders again tight line from Costa coming out of that pitch corner leads him on the ball then the Wilson Saunders Jones and um, Sterling in third straight for the final time goes Mark Costa and Carl Bly just increasing their lead with every yard as they move and Coming into top corner for the final time, it's 2-2, two to two. impressive stuff once again for Mark Costa in calm line. Second is Rob Wilson, Terry Saunders, in third place we've got Lee Jones and Robbie Sterling. So race 14 result, then a win for number 37, Mark Costa in calm line. 
Second number 24, Rob Wilson, Terry Saunters. And third number 3, Lee Jones and Robbie Sterling. Five, we move on then to race number 15 and 16, the third leg of the 500 sidecar super series, according to my reckoning. Uh, Mitch Gobbin has moved on to 67. Josh Goodwin has got 73. Two, two minute warning for all riders, two minute warning for all riders. And Sean Harvey has moved on to 65. And interesting, if you look at race 16, they all come out in race 16 the top three so that could prove to be very very decisive indeed they have eaten, eaten into the lead of Josh Goodwin of course with the point scoring system of 5-4-3-2-1 you can only as long as Josh keeps finishing in second place and only pulling one point back each time but it could be a significant one for race number 16 if you look at race 15 Simon Beard, Steinus Lund, Chris Neem, Scott Dunn, Dan Berwick and James Hogg are the crews in action for race number 15 Again, coming out then for race number 15, looks at if Simon Beard has got to grid number one, two good second place, his yellow flags are out, still we take for a So he got four on the line, and fifth first Dan Berwick makes his way across the line, we should be looking for another crew to come out there. Chris Neem, I think we're waiting for to come out, crew number 11, for this uh, <coughs> race number 15. Oh, Chris Neem, sorry, he's already in the line, I do apologise for that. James Hogg's the one we're waiting for, it is James Hogg, the crew we're waiting for to come out for 15, as we've got the <coughs> beard on one, Neem on two, looks if Lund's going to go into three, then there's a gap which will be filled by James Hogg, Dunn on five, Berwick on grid number six for this race, number 15, can Scott Dunn get out of the start, he's missed the start on both occasions so far, can he make the start in this race, number 15. Hog just coming across the middle now, which will give us a six cruise in for race number 15. So Scott done the last to settle, he'll need to make a start in the left line, the opening two heats, can he get out this time? They settle in for race 15, third leg of the Super Series. Simon Beard trying to find a way to form the inside, but Dan Berwick sweeps around the outside, lead at the back straight the first time, Beard has gone for the second, Dunn's made a better start this time, he's in third place, Donis Lund is in four, James Hogg in five, that's the top five at the fifth corner, on the opening lap, and it's Berwick who has the advantage, and Beard trying to find a way to form the inside, but Third, London four, Hogging five, Neem in sixth and done, trying to get through on the inside of the move through into that second place. And it's still Dan Berwick who leads him, but Simon Beard holding that second place. Got done, has got the third. These three getting away from Stynus, London fourth place. Exit in that uh, top corner, can put in a lap number two, still Berwick will be running. Side run. There's two bikes between first and second going up the back straight once again. Berwick throughout the one again from Beard holding second. These two getting away from Dunning third with London four, hogging five, and now Simon Beard again having to go on the outside of that top corner. Cuts it back again for the inside run. But Berwick simply got too much of that pit corner, half a bite between first and second, going up the back straight once again, it's Berwick who leads in for Beard in second, these two are clear of John in third, it's now or never for Simon Beard if he wants to get the victory in race number 50, looks at Dan Berwick, got all the lines covered, coming out of that final corner, Dan Berwick gets on in line, Simon Beard has come to second, John in third, John is long before James Hogg in five, Chris Neem in sixth place.
Race 15, the points then. Number 4, Simon Beard, 4 points. Number 6, Darnus Lund, 2 points. Number 11, Chris Need, no points. Number 15, Scott Dunn, 3 points. Number 68, Dan Berwick, 5 points. And he gets a final warning there, a final warning for Dan Berwick. And number 73, James Hogg, 1 point. So on we go to race 16. This could well settle the whole of this series because you've got the top three in action. Mitch Gordon is unbeaten. Sean Harvey is unbeaten and Josh Goodwin has got two second places. They all come together in this race number 16. So regard the championship, this could have a massive say in what happens in the championship. Top three in action, they clawed into uh, Josh Goodwin's lead this afternoon on each occasion. They've been out, what will happen there? And, and we've also got in for good measure Natasha Market, Louis Bennett and Barry Bennett, Ivan Hughes and the Vales as well. If they can get their bike sorted out, they can be very much in contention as well. So they come into line then. The Vales have got the outside. Looks like uh, Barry Bennett is inside of them. Now we've got uh, Josh Goodwin. He's going to go between the Vales. So Vales on the outside. Josh Goodwin on the inside of them. Then we've got Barry Bennett. Then it looks like Mitch Gobb. Then we've got the Sean Hart. Then we've got uh, Sean Harvey with Danny Hart and then Barclay right on the inside for what could be a crucial race 16 in the series overall. Just when we and Brown get the clear groove there for Josh Goodwin to move into. Start could be crucial. Got some very, very quick crews in this race. Number 16. First corner could be interesting if they all get there together. They line them and settle in for race number 16. Will it be a title pinch in line this race number 16? All six crews are ready. Start and moves away. Off for the safe side. No so is Goodwin, where is Harvey? Harvey trying to get to on the inside. He's pegged back on the inside. Godden leads in. And Goodwin goes in the second. And Harvey was blocked on the exit to that first corner. He's in third. And making a move around the edge. So Goodwin going into that top corner for the first time then. It's Godden who leads and Goodwin in second. Harvey has got the third. Godden on white. Can Goodwin get to Sorry, but he's in four bells, in five, Barclay in six, as they go up the back straight once again. Godden leads in, and Goodwin holding second, then Sean Harvey's dropping back in third, the top two getting away, and it's still Godden leads in, and Goodwin holding second, Harvey's got the third. This is the third time these two have met, it's the third time, and it's Godden is running. Pattern. has gotten lead gentlemen Goodwin in second Harvey is in third Bells have gone round the outside of Barry Bennett to move back through in the fourth place we look at that scrap of the front there's two bites between first and second Godwin wide again can, God, can Goodwin get through on the inside Goodwin takes a much final line and all the time and it's Goodwin who leads for the first time this afternoon Goddard trying to come back in second place a bite between them going into the top corner for the final time it's Goodwin when he leaves and then Gordon holding that second place coming on the inside Gordon's got to go right round the outside he cuts it back for the inside run but Josh Goodwin gets 49 that could be so crucial Josh Goodwin gets 49 second is Gordon between Sean Harvey and the Vales. I couldn't separate them, but it's all at the front, and that could be a title winning ride there for Josh Goodwin. Mitch Gordon just too wide upon that top corner, left a huge gap, and Josh Goodwin doesn't miss chances like that. He's gone through, and that could, could be the ride that clinches the title for Josh Goodwin. The clerk of the course is coming over to us now. We hope there are no any problems with pegging in that vital race number 16. Now he shakes his head, everything's okay. The vital race number 16 and the points as follows. Number one, Mitch Gordon, four points. Number three, Josh Goodwin, five points. Number seven, Barry Bennett, one point. Number 65, Natasha Barker, no points. Number 72, Sean Harvey, two points. And number 152, the Vales, three points. Race 17 on the line now then, number hit the third leg of the up point solo, delete 1, 4, 3, race 17. Race 17, race 17, race 17, race 17, race 
away with him, Tim Mount trying to find a way to on the inside, but Mears has got the first corner speed and he's up the back straight for the first time then. It's Meek and Jagos in the second, Mount has got the third, coaching forward, Joyce in five, that's still the top five. As Dave Mears about four bites in control now, coming out of that top corner and through the start, complete lap number one then. Here's Joyce is in sixth place, up the back straight they go once and again the main action is for third and fourth and coach has gone through on the inch of Tim Mount, they move through in the third place as Dave Mears pulling away at the front, looking to make it through the three in the off point solo, making to get up the good line, coach has got the better man to move in the third man, and they make their way off the back straight once again, up the close to the five, relegating Joyce to six, so Dave Mears increases lead for every turn of the wheel and this is the third leg of the up point solos, Meekins again second, Coach in third, Mount dropping back in four, Humphrey in five, George in six. Pretty well spread out now, they're moving on to four this time then. The Lizzy Mears are lead then, the Meekins look in his third, second place, Coach has got third, Mount in four, Humphrey in five, George in six. They Mears in that top corner for the final time in race number 17. That's going to be three to three for Dave Mears in the up points this afternoon. Jim Mount picks up his third, second place. Nigel Coates gets the third. Jim Mount is in four. Humphrey in five. Barry Joyce in sixth place. Result of race 17, they win for number 19, Dave Mears. Second number 10, Tom Meekins. And third number 7, Nigel Coates. 17, 45 and 57. Race 18, delete 143, put in number 11, Holly Stanford. So have they come for this intriguing three-way scrap in the heats of the 250s? Holly Stanford, the first one to come out. Up two second places so far. Tim Gregg goes in alongside him. David Knowles towards the outside. Charlie Brooks on the inside. Chris White inside. David Knowles. What can these three produce for us? And it's the third leg on the two Sydney solos. Second straight away. Starter walks away. That can make it interesting this time as Noel leads them to Greg in second. Stanford's got the third. Brooks is in fourth place. The Brooks comes on the shoulder of Stanford to move through. In the third place as Noel leads him into that top corner for the first time. Greg has got the second. Look at Charlie Brooks winding it on right round the outside. Will he keep it inside the track? He's really winding it in David Noel. Brooks is not right. Yes, that's in Greg to go for the second place. As Noel leads them to Brooks in second. Greg has got the third. Stanford in fourth place. Off the back straight they go once again. The biggest lead David Noel's ever over Charlie Brooks. In the three heats so far, can he maintain that ladies Brooks? Roars round the outside of that top corner again, comes right alongside David Knowles. Does he hit the front leg and take that way? Goes really wide, but Charlie Brooks again winds it on right down the outside. The lead going up that back straight once again. Brooks leads them, but Knowles in second. These two pulling away from Greg in third. David Knowles had another go on the entry to that top corner, but Charlie Brooks had just got the speed round the outside. Knowles again hugging the inside. As Brooks leads them, but Knowles in second place. David Knowles trying to find a way through on the inside, but Brooks has got the speed round the outside. Three bites between them up the back straight, 40 for a time. But still here again in the two because again David Knowles closed the gap on the entry to that corner. But it's Brooks' speed round the outside that is the deciding factor. Brooks gets caught in line. Second place is David Knowles. Tim Red picks up the third on his stand for the four. Christopher White in fifth place. A 16 result to win for number 16, Charlie Brooks. Second number 64, David Knowles. And third number 10, Tim Gray. 11 and 69. Race 19 then, delete uh, Matsall and Charlie Powell. Just a four 
Corvette for this race number 19, Eddie Kennett, Daniel Braun, Paul Fermi and Thomas Rowland. The four then for this race number 19, the heat of the 500 solo. As they go to the back straight for the first time, Eddie Kenny already building himself a lead. Good race going on for second and third. Is Thomas Rowley just been hanging on to that uh, second place position? As they make their way out of that top corner for the first time, as you expect, Eddie Kenny. Well, the second and third, then. Second lead, Thomas Rowley in the fourth, and you is in fourth place as the leader up the back straight. Spectacular way there from Kenny halfway up that back straight. It's still Philby holds that second place position and Rowland is in Philby holds his second Rowland is third and complete lap number two then. Kennedy's a clear leader into that pitch corner then. Philby holds his second Rowland is up to third. Rowland is in four then. But then now race number 19, the third leg of the 500 solos. Is Eddie Kennedy then picks his way out of that top corner. Got the feed moving on the corner. Philby's consolidating that second place. Rowland is not the third. Rolling in fourth. Really going up that back straight on lap number four, moves it in to that top corner for the final time. Spectacular winning ride coming up for number six, Eddie Kenny. That's another victory this time. Thomas Rollins is in third, and you brought him in fourth place. Race 19, result to win for number 6, Eddie Kennett. Second number 47, Will Felby. And third number 114, Thomas Rowley. Fourth number 15, race 20, Guy Pacey is 116, Richard Hall is number 16. And they come then for race number 20, another heat of the 500 solos. Richard all run on the outside, James Shane goes in next to him, then Dave Mears, then uh, Andrew Whitaker, I think Stephen Green, Stephen Tumble has got by gate position at the moment, so he's going to go towards the inside of the grid, so it could be a good race this uh, race number 20. If they can't get to James Shane, it could be a race with a good race with the minor places. Well then for race number 20. Shane gets the corner first, can Richard all sweep round the outside of the pitch corner? No, he can't, it's Shane Jarrett, back straight for the first time, then all has got the second, Green in third, Mears in four, Whitaker is in five, that's the top five of the move, into the top corner on lap number one, then it's James Shane that moves it all, holding the second place, Whitaker gets inside Mears to move through in the fourth place, and Mears gets back round the outside, they're bunching up the third, fourth and fifth, Whitaker chasing after Green, third place, as a leading two, getting away the front end. Chains are clearly leader, but all in second. It's still Green who's got the third. Whitaker is in four. Mears is close to his five. He's all in mid. Four loads up second. Green is in third again. Whitaker trying to get inside. Green just get inside. Green on that pitch corner. Green again. Back round the outside. Whitaker comes again to retake that third place. Will Green get back round the outside of the top when he gets back round? Whitaker again to move through into third place. It's Shane Lee's then from Hall holding that second. Green has got back round. Whitaker to move through. Corner. Dave Mears dropping back in fifth place with James Shane's bird to length of a straight third to front end and Hall holding second. Green's got the third, but it's a one last go on the end piece that top corner on lap number four. James continues with his winning ways. Richard Hall picks up the second, Stephen Green holds off the third. Richard Hall picks in fourth, Dave Mears is coasting in fifth place. Result for race 20 and a win for number 93, James Shanes. Second at number 16, Richard Hall. And third number 66, Stephen Green. 71, 19, 116 and number 4. Race 21, delete 29 
and 158 and in number 3 Lee Jones and Roddy Sterling. Three crews on the line then for the third leg of the thousand sidecars up for the tanks. They've all got away. Cross has got away. Lee Jones has got away. Bob Wilson got away. On the inside of Lee Jones, and get through. On the inside of Lee Jones, the second place. Can Rob Wilson really make it work for this time? Then, as they go to the back straight for the first time, it's Wilson Lee Jones and Costin second. These two pulling away from Jones, they're moving to the pits corner for the first time. Rob Wilson trying to hold the line, just hold the line. There's a little gap and Costa trying to get through that gap. Again, Wilson leads them, but Costa in second place. Wilson left that little gap on the inside. Costa doesn't miss, miss chance like that, and Costa goes storming through on the inside. You cannot leave him that gap on the inside. He just went through like a dose of salt, and he's a clear leader now. Can put in lap number two then. Costa and Blind lead them. Not the third, so this time he's had the comfort to back to Mark Costa and Carl Blow, but they're starting to pull away at the front this time. They're looking to make it three to three in the big chair action this afternoon. Costa and Blow clear going into that top corner. Ron Wilson, Terry Saunders desperately trying to close the gap in second play. This time Costa just take a look Another Ron Wilson, Terry Saunders in second play. Lee Jones, Roddy Stones have got the third. The leader down the back straight on a lap number four. Looking to make it three to three in the heat of the big chair. The drive and the speed as he throws it into that pitch corner. Totally in control of breakneck speed. Mark Costa in car blind. And Ron Wilson, Terry Saunders pick up the second. Lee Jones, Roddy Stones come across the line in third place. So race number 21 then, it's a win for number 37, Mark Costa and Carl Bly. Second number 24, Rob Wilson, Terry Saunters. And third number 3, Lee Jones and Roddy Sterling. There will be track grading taking place now, uh, before we move on to the fourth leg of the 500 sidecars. So, coming to the line then for race number 22. Josh Goodwin, Barry Bennett, Chris Neen, Scott Dern, Dan Berry and Sean Harvey. The crew's in action then for this uh, race 22. Then Dan Burrick is next to him, then Barry Bennett, then Sean Harvey, then Chris Neen with Scott Dunwall on the outside. That's what it looks to me for this race number 22. Sean Harvey, the last one to come into line to settle for race number 22. But in fact, he's going to be led into that top corner. Is uh, Josh Goodwin as they go to the back straight for the first time? Real solid going up on that first corner, going up the back straight on lap number one. It's Goodwin, it's Scott the new leads going into that top corner for the first time. Looks like Josh Goodwin in second place. He's making a move around the outside. Scott Dunn, Scott Dunn, after this. He's got the second, Sean Harvey's running his way through in the third place. And Dan Barrick is in fourth place, they're bunching up the first, second and third, they got the back straight once again, it's still Scott Dunn with the advantage again, Josh Goodwin go trying to get around the outside, Sean Harvey's trying to split them up in third place, three of us coming off the exit from that top corner to put in lap number two there, it's going to be the the move of Sean Harvey as Scott Dunley's going up the back straight once again. Sean Harvey's got inside. Josh Goodwin in moves to the second place and Sean Harvey making a move around the ace of Scott Dunn. This is tremendous stuff in Sean Harvey as he leads going into that top corner once again. Scott Dunn on the inside. Sean Harvey coming right round the outside. And it's that on the floor. 
Josh Wood when he's got a third. Jumbo it is in fourth place. So Sean Harvey has come through right through from fourth to first. And now Josh Quinn could win half the go at Scott Dunn. Half of the match for a lap number four. As Sean Harvey leads him, but Scott Dunn holding that second. Josh Goodwin trying to come right round the edge of Scott Dunn. The stats have second place. It's Sean Harvey. Scott Dunn has the third, Jam Harris is in fourth, Barry Bennett is in fifth, Stanis Lund in six, Chris Neeming in sixth place, but what a great ride that was, Scott Dunn certainly put him to the can amongst the pigeons by making the start there, he flew out of the start, Josh Goodwin had to chase him, and then Sean Harvey put his hand forward and made his move to go through in the second and finally got by Scott, Scott Dunn, but of course Josh Goodwin had come back after Scott Dunn to pick up a crucial second place, so he only drops one point. Race number 22, the points. Number three, Josh Goodwin, four points. Number seven, Barry Bennett, one point. Number 11, Chris Neem, no points. Number 15, Scott Dunn, three points. Number 68, Dan Barrick, two points. And number 72, Sean Harvey, five points. Right, you move on to race number three then, Mitch Gordon, Simon Beard, Stanis Lund, Natasha Barclay, James Hogg and The Vale. So into the line they come then for race number 23, Simon Beard the first to come into line with the good afternoon so far, but he missed so much of the series, well been challenging that top three, Shabar did come in line, side of him, Mitch Gordon on the outside this time, Mitch only beaten one so far this afternoon, that was by Josh Goodwin after beating Josh Goodwin twice in the opening sets of eight, so he's very much on course to maintain that second place overall but needs a win here of course so he's on the outside Son and Beard next to him then we've got Natasha Barnes then we've got the Bales then we've got the Stardust London and James Hogg on the one from the inside for race number 23 Paul Swift is under the air as Mitch Gordon moves into line the last to settle on the outside group for race number 23 has got to do from the outside this time if he wants to prove your victory in race number 23 he's gone in this way on the Simon Beard's got away, so is Mitch Gordon. Who's going to get the corner first? Beard gets the corner first, but Gordon sweeps round the outside and leads up the back straight for the first time. Then Gordon leads from Beard in second. The Bells have moved through in the third. Lund is in fourth place. Eagle just between the top four as they hit the top corner for the first time. Gordon holds the line, no way through. The Beard on the Lund's in four, Hogg looking for that fourth place of Stanis Lund going up the back straight once again. It's Gordon getting away at the front then, still Beard holds that second, Bells have got third, Lund in four but coming under pressure from Hogg as well to try and get that fourth place position as Mitch Gordon and Paul Smith starting to pull away at the front of the in five, Barton in six, that's the six, they make their way up the back straight once again, and Mitch Gordon definitely getting away at the front, Simon Beard can't close the up at all in second, and neither can the Bells in third, coming out of that top corner, the last up flag is waiting then for Mitch Gordon, looking to make it Drops back to that sixth place, this is the main action is for fourth and fifth place as Barkley having to go at Lund for that fourth and fifth spot as Gordon Leach coming out of that top corner for the final time, keeps himself very much in the second place overall, Simon Beard gets the second, the Bells pick up the third, Stonis Lund is going to be running, well these are the lap scorers, they were very close, they crossed the line, good Barkley came the late run and then we've got Hardy in sixth place. Race 23 result then, the points as follows. Number one, Mitch Gordon, five points. Number four, Simon Beard, four points. Number six, Stanis Lund, two points. Number 65, Natasha Barclay, one point. Number 73, James Hogg, no points. And 152, The Vales, three points.
Lake 4 then on the upright solos, Dave is aware of the opening 3, can anybody get to Dave in this the fourth leg? Dave Mears gets the corner first, it's Tim Mount making a big move around the outside trying to go through in the second but Tim Mount, uh, Tim, Tom Meekins holds that second place, Tim Mount has got the third, Coates is in fourth place, that's the top four, they're at the top corner on lap number one and Dave Mears, they need a winner of the opening three each in this part, already been in top of nine. they got the back strength once again it's still Dave Mears with a clear lead then from uh, Tom Meekins holding second Tim Mounds in third Coates in four Humphreys five winning six and uh, George in seventh place uh, dominates for the first the definitely getting closer in five that's the main action with third fourth and fifth as Dave Mears has got it totally sewn up at the front, he's at that top corner once again. The last up right comes out then for Dave Mears. Look at the man, it's four to four then. The Meekins holding that second. Man, he's got the third then. Coach is going to the inside of Mears first. The end of third place. And this is where the main action was for third and fourth places. As Mears has got it sewn up at the front. He's consolidating that second now. Coach is now starting to consolidate the third spot. And Mount dropping back to that fourth position. Dave Mears exits that top corner 44 times. It's four to four, Tom Meekins gets his fourth, second place, Coates gets the third, Mounts gets his fourth, Winners in five, Humphrey in six, Joyce in seventh place. Race 24 result, wins the number 19, Dave Mears, second number 10, Tom Meekins, and third number 7, Nigel Coates. 17. 155, 45, and 57. Race number 25, delete 143, put in number 11, Holly Stanford.